Hey everyone, Livelock here, and this is the first Dragonflight video that I've made. I'm still in the process of actually deciding what my main's going to be. Uh, these are basically my first initial thoughts on Shaman, particularly Enhance. I might do a separate video for, for Elemental, but uh, so far most of what I've done has been on, on the Shaman. And what hasn't been on the Shaman has been on the Mage. So... I thought I would start with Shaman because that was the last thing that I, I mained in Shadowlands and it seems like everyone has been saying that the builds were really fun and I have to agree. Like the, the Shaman builds are actually all really fun. After after the, the gameplay footage, I'll I'll switch over to the actual game and go over some talent stuff, but I'm it's it's a little bit mixed feelings because my gear is so bad that I don't know how to compare the damage output that I'm actually doing with like what to you know actually expect at at real end game mythic plus levels. Um, I'm going here with Coco Mojo, who's the rogue, so he's a bit more geared than me. So he'll definitely be doing more damage than me. So I can't really say like anything about how we do relative to other classes yet. But this this footage is the PLA build. I guess it's not really the PLA build anymore, but it's the it's the fire AOE build which is essentially just the same build as we were playing in Shadowlands with Primal Lava Actuators, but like some slight twists, like little details, like uh, Fire Nova now gives us Maelstrom. Like, I feel like it's basically the same exact thing as it as it was, um, except obviously we have way more utility now because of the the tree, the uh, general shaman tree. But but the experience so far of playing this build is that it's it's pretty fun. Like it's it's a uh, very familiar uh, the the familiarity of it is actually the downside to me because I feel like I've probably gotten all I'm going to get gameplay experience wise out of playing this build. It is, it is fun, but I already kind of did it. And this season, the, the haste levels are going to be abysmal. So a lot of, a lot of this build feels pretty bad right now with uh, my current haste, which is like seven, seven percent haste. <laughs> I know, I know it's like a gearing issue and they'll get better over time, but the first season is usually a low, a low gear season. So it won't get that much better over time. But the good part about about Shaman is that you have so many options now. So the reason that I initially got into Shaman last time was because there were a lot of these like supposed builds that you can run in different scenarios. And in reality, what happened was you always played Primal Love Actuators when it was Mythic Plus. And we are in a similar boat now, except we also have the two uh, fire slash uh, lightning AOE builds from elemental and those have been actually to me a lot more fun than than the uh enhancement ones um i played around a little bit with also this uh physical aoe build that people are running and that one feels very underwhelming to me uh, i even well it's it's very fun so i don't have any complaints with it there uh the damage is comparable but my gear is so bad that i can't really test um in principle I don't see how it'll feel great to play because it's still uh, damage window based and pretty RNG to boot. And if you don't have a tank pulling around like Doom Winds and you use Doom Winds, first of all, Doom Winds right now is terrible with my level of haste. I can literally get two Crash Lightnings and a Sundering in, and Doom Winds is over. It's, it's like eight seconds. So I've got to like, you know, make sure that that actually lines up perfectly with everything else and and for the the pull sizes that we're doing in m zeros you know it's like it, it basically does as much damage as a fire nova would have done if you were doing pla so i don't think that's a that's a great it's not it's not easy to to get some gameplay experience firsthand with these different builds right now um but i'll probably try some of the the other builds like the uh more single target ones these dungeons have been pretty interesting uh there's a lot of very punishing mechanics. I think I think here you might see, yeah, like this double what is this? What, what do you do here? Like <laughs> you just get hit by that. <laughs> there's like two. There, there's nowhere to go. Maybe you can like line of sight behind this little podium. I don't know. But I probably will switch over to uh to the gust of wind version so I can just like, you know, get booped and then boot myself forward again and get around that. But uh that was the last interesting thing you're gonna see there <laughs> because now I'm dead. So hopping over to the uh, the real game, I'll just go over some some uh, damage rotation stuff on the dummy and talk out loud about you know how I'm feeling about these specs and if it will be my main or not. 
Uh, this one is the lightning AOE one. It's it's okay. So here, I'll I'll do a fresh session. I'll uh for some reason I love oh I'm elemental. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, why isn't lava lash happening? Okay, let me switch over. Uh, uh go over to enhancements. And we'll do a rotation with the physical AOE build. And then we'll do one with the Primal Lava Actuators build. And there's a chance that I'm just like really bad at this build. I really haven't done this very much yet. Uh, I saw a couple of versions of this. There's a YouTuber uh, that had a version that had Elemental Blast, but the Wowhead one doesn't have Elemental Blast. It actually has Fire Nova instead. I'm not sure what's better right now. Uh, it feels like Elemental Blast might be good if you want to buff the Doom Winds damage window. That's how I've been playing this, at least. I use it to buff my... Right before Doom Winds. So I'll... I'll get some Maelstrom here, and I'll reset everything. Okay, so uh, no, now Lava Lash is on cooldown, but I think what the idea is here is that you want to just like, like you take one point into Molten Assault, and you have Lava Lash, so you can still spread your your uh, your uh, Flame Shocks. So you start off by doing that. You spread everything. You do. Dogs, maybe that. Doom winds, crash, lightning, thunder, and another crash. And now Doom winds is gone. So Doom winds is gone now. So that was as good as it's gonna get. So it's basically RNG whether or not that was like good. And you can see like if you take this like RNG proc version of Ascendance, like you may just like never get it ever. Um, and all of your damage seems to be chain lightning so it's okay like that time that time it wasn't great like my with my gear i can get up to like 70k so maybe i'll do uh another one well we actually i can't do another one because doing is on cooldown that's fine but but uh yeah the physical AOE build it seems way simpler like you don't have to tab target and do lava lash like there's no lashing flames you have to manage like in that sense it's a little bit more more chill than the other build but but obviously i mean i'm i'm getting better performance with PLA in more circumstances in actual M0s. And again, all the caveats, like, I, I just feel like because of how flexible and consistent the damage profile is with PLA, I it's going to be hard for Doom Winds to, uh, to compete realistically when you're doing real dungeons. But I'm open to, to being wrong about that, obviously. I, I don't really, I don't really mind. I'll do, I'll do one more over here. Maybe I'll get lucky with, uh, some procs and it'll just look really good. Uh, I'm loving the utility though that that we have with ancestral guidance and all the other healing stuff that we do. Uh, we have like a lot of mobility. Like we have the the boop, the knock up from uh, from thunderstorm. Like I feel like I feel very useful <laughs> for the first time in a while. Okay, so let's try this again. I'll get all of these up. I will dogs that doom winds there thunder. Chain. And one more crash. Yeah, so now upwards of 70. But it's like it's complete RNG. Like if I do this ten times, like sometimes it goes as high as 80, and like sometimes it's as low as 50. This is like a it seems like a pretty high variance build. Um well that's on cooldown, so I can't I can't switch to PLA because of how this game works right now. But I can switch over to Elemental and do a rotation there. Elemental has been a lot more fun than than uh, maybe because I haven't played Elemental that much in the past. But I I just feel like the 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 sound effects like like the play style like everything about it. There's these two different builds that they play very very differently. They have very different damage profiles. It looks like you really have to kind of go all in on AOE with this with this Bis AOE build. Um, but but the idea with, you know, it, it plays similarly, I think, to the, to the last expansion. You, like, Storm Elemental will still be here, and you'll do big AoE with Storm Elemental. But the new part is Ice Fury. I'm not a huge fan of having to keep up maintenance buffs, but but it does play very well. So I'll, I'll do, we'll do, like, a Storm Keeper, Ice Fury, Ice, at, and then Big. I really don't like casting. I really don't like casting um, this ability, Elemental Blast. That is very not great to me. But, like, I'm doing 80k right now. This is, like, pretty chill. 
I don't mind this at all. And it's very consistent. I can do this, like, on demand. You know? You have two charges of, uh, of Stormstrike. The big problem here is, like, the tank will he actually, you know, keep things in your... In my experience, the answer is no. The tank won't keep things in your Earthquake. Like, that's been <laughs> basically every every dungeon I've done so far. They've run out of the Earthquake. That's the uh, the big downside. But you have really big AoE Burst, and it feels really good to play. And you've got plenty of options for you know, moving on the run, and, like, I can do Instant Cast, uh, Elemental Blast through Nature Swiftness. I can do... Actually, well, I guess that's really all I can do. I can, I can do that, and I can do the... Uh, uh, Spirit Walker's Race. So I'll, I'll go back to Enhancements and do a rotation as PLA. PLA does feel basically the same. The Overloaded Maelstrom ability feels nice. Actually getting to send out full, like, 10-point Chain Lightnings and Elemental Blasts and Lightning Bolts. That does feel great, actually. So I'm anticipating that I will be able to consistently stay around, like, 60 to 70k here. So let's see. Here. Dogs. Alt. Nova. Sunder. And now we're just doing... Now we're just doing Shadowlands. Tap target. Get lashing flames and everything. Now I'm doing 80k sustained. Like, Primordial Wave is going to be back up again in 20 seconds. There isn't really that much RNG to this. I mean, there is RNG, but I feel like there's less RNG than the lightning build. And yeah, so I can go like this forever, right? Like, this is like 60 to 70k sustained with my gear level. I won't, I won't burst up to like, you know, 100 or 80k sometimes randomly. Like that won't happen. But and something's going on here with. Uh, I am surprised to see chain lightning that high. There is some weird thing with these dummies so much. Or usually it's Fire Nova, or sorry, Flame Shock and and Lava Lash uh, as the top ones. But uh, so I don't know. Will I main this? So far, it's what I've invested the most in. Uh, I do like all the build combinations with it. I like the the changes that you can do to your damage profile among the different specs. I don't really plan on playing Resto that much. I don't think Resto is very fun. I've been doing a little bit of Arcane Mage as well. The uh, the Monk, Priest, Death Knight, Warrior, and Paladin haven't been touched. This was my old main, the, the Monk, and I'm going to maybe take a look at Windwalker again, just because it's so overpowered. I just don't like being like a spinny, you know, spinny nature guy. So that's that's why I've not gone to the Monk, but it's uh, doing enough damage that I, I will reconsider that. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'll put out a couple of videos about, about you know, other characters that I try, and hopefully I'll, I'll come to... Uh, some some decision pretty soon otherwise let me know what you guys are meaning if you have any questions or or concerns feel free to put that in the comments i'll see you next time